Right. Weaknesses busting and fresh. This is brilliant. Why was this not in the, the update previously? Ah! Okay. Hello, buddy. <laughs> Been a long time since we've done this one. TV shows. It must be one of those prank <laughs> TV shows. What is going on, guys? It's the Mad Dragon, Dragon, and welcome back to Grounded. Now, I'm sure a lot of people will be happy to see me playing Grounded once again. I've taken a little bit of time away from this game, and upon loading up the game, uh, we got a message uh, Story Crest Revisions. We have revised story quests and content since the last save was made because I have not played this game in like two months now, so there's probably going to be a lot of changes. Completed quests and labs will need to be traversed again to progress the new story flow. We have placed you at the starting location to prevent issues. All items, bases, recipes and other unlocks have carried over. So guys, we find ourselves back in the starting area apparently. Now, like I said, I have not played this game genuinely in like two months. Uh, in the last episode, we just had the brand new update that came out, which did all of the, uh, I don't know what you call it, the sort of the shed area. Uh, and to be honest, guys, I was getting more and more down on this game. I do play it on the Xbox, and I did find that playing it on the Xbox with a controller, it was getting harder and harder and harder, and eventually it was, it was beginning to become borderline unplayable. Trying to make content on the channel, trying to find ways to succeed and do all the new updates became extremely that? difficult. Uh, so I take a little bit of a hiatus away from this game. So you can consider this potentially uh, the beginning of Grounded Season 2, maybe, I guess, is what we'll sort of refer to this on the channel. Because we're going back into Grounded now, they've done a whole new update since then. We are now to the... Bugs are back and better than ever or something. <laughs> Can't remember what it's called anymore. Uh, they've got a new update that's come out, so that's why I thought I would come back into this game and check it out. We're going to have a bit of a different mentality in this season. We're no longer here to just smash our way through the game. It's going to be more chilled out. We're going to be more laid back. We're going to just enjoy our time going around the garden. So first of all, they've said they've reset... A bunch of stuff. Uh, like I said, guys, I've been away for two months. I have no idea what has changed in this game, what is new, if there's new areas. I have not paid any attention to any of the patch notes or update notes that have come from this latest update. Uh, we did do a lot of that. Doesn't look like there's anything else. Um, I have seen potentially the idea that maybe the burgle chips have been replaced. Uh, so we've got the, uh, the little things up in the top left here. Uh, we're exploring for structures and look for more science equipment. So because of the new update, they've basically sent everyone back to right at the start. So everyone's save states can remain in the game, which is a good move. I like that. That's a perfectly fine move. Um, I'm not sure if they made sort of any other changes. I mean, I look like I've kept a lot of my... Uh, oh, we can now make batches of them. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of new things that I don't know. Uh, pupa leather scraps. I don't know if I ever got pupa stuff. Grub leather scraps. Yeah, there's probably going to be a bunch of stuff. I don't know, but it's going to be fun to jump back in and uh, get more used to uh, playing this game once again, because uh, it's been a little while. Right, what have we got in here? The resource analyzer. Anything else to analyze? Oh, what's that? Uh, I'm going to guess that's something to do with my armor needing to be mended. Unpowered. Okay, so stuff now needs to be powered. Let's pick up our little... I can't even grab that one. <laughs> Come here. Cap. I can't grab it. it. It's underneath. There we go. Okay, cool. We got the granola bar. Okay, what is this thing? Unpowered. Right. How do we power you? I've still got my little lean-to there from where I used to sleep back in the day, guys. Back when we first ever started this game. That must be well over, I don't know, like a year and a half, two years ago now. It was probably our first ever time of doing uh, this survival. Peep a creature. Uh, okay. I'll try and uh, have a little bit of a look to see if I can find a... I can peep. <laughs> okay, let's... Uh, so I guess I'm going to have to do some of the story missions again. So actually, this will probably be quite nice because I won't have uh, wow, to immediately uh, sort of start from scratch, I guess, or just try and continue the game from where I left off with all the new changes. I'll actually have some targets to do because I can basically go back around and um, do the storyline missions again. Right. Let's turn on the old, uh, the old machine. Uh, now, if I remember rightly, I think I had to mend these things, didn't I? Uh... This feels really weird going back to the start. I feel apparently a couple of people at every update have actually been restarting their game every single update just to check out like how it's new and how it plays. Like that that must take ages to do something like that. Oh, I better have a drink because my thirst is pretty low at the minute. I can hear a little weevil. Come here, weevil. 
<laughs> okay, so we need to go mend. It's still telling me to peep a creature for some reason, so I think I needed to go mend. It's this one over here, right. I can't remember if I needed any, uh, like, resources to mend this and stuff. Let's go have a look. I am glad that I've been able to keep all of my uh, all of my weapons and what have you, because I would not probably be doing a Season 2 if I had to genuinely scratch from start 100%, because I feel so many of the challenges would be uh, extremely tough to do. I've missed those little comments from Max along the way. Right, let's get over here, Max, come on. Okay, let's just keep going. Wow, there's lots of mites around here. I don't remember there being so many mites. Right, where's this laser thing? What am I looking for here? Right. Oh, yes, I have to go to the mite hole. Wow, I forgot about all of this. Okay, wow, you got some some big leaps on you now, buddy boy. Right, uh, I've lost a bit of armor. Of course I have. That's the one thing I remember about this game was... Uh, <laughs> armor is... Ow! Wow, these things are just armor destroyers at this point. All right, let's pick up you. That's absolutely fine. Okay, my food is slowly running out. We will just... Kill that dude. Oh yeah, we still got some further down. Wow, lots of them further down. Oh, it's really hard to see down here, right. Ah! <laughs> Where are you? It's like a scene out of Alien. Got you. Right, there we go. Okay, we've killed all those dudes. Oh no, there's still one over here. I can barely see. <laughs> okay. Quartzite's always very useful to uh, to get a hold of because it helps upgrade. I assume it still upgrades weapons. I mean, I haven't uh, I haven't actually played this game in so long now. They could have changed everything on me all again. Something sounds very loud. Have they changed the loudness of these grubs crawling? I am wearing headphones, but like that, it sounds really loud. Oh, well, they're actually up there. Right. Okay. I didn't even see those dudes. Right. Let's uh, get our little thing back. Take you out. Boom! There we go. Right, we've saved the tower. Now we've got to go back to the uh, the old box, which is in a direction. <laughs> Where was the uh, the old power thing? I think it was this way. Am I right to say? I'm trying to look for the other towers. I can't see anything. Look, Max. Where is it? Where did the laser beams go? Yes, that way. <laughs> okay, we're managing to get the grips back to the controls, guys. Back to basics now. I. I I really enjoyed this game when it first came out. I'm so glad to actually get to do it again, but at least it's not like I'm doing it properly again. Right, I think I have to push a button, don't I? Oh no, I've got to chop down that blade of grass as well, right. Uh, where is it? Is it this one? Okay. Boom, there we go. Right, we've got our laser beams set again. Okay, so if I remember rightly now that that one's clear, we have to activate. And I believe we get a beautiful little cutscene of a uh, tree base exploding. No spoilers, but uh, that is what's going to happen. <laughs> this game sounds really loud. I definitely think they've uh, they've upped some of the sound effects and what have you. Boom! And of course, that's where Burgle is uh, having a terrible time over there. I quite like that I'm getting to go back and do it. I guess that means I'll have to go back and do all of the main uh, sort of labs and stuff again that were like in the in the tree base and stuff have all of the various resources sort of uh, respawned like if we got all the oh, we got all the mints and stuff back in there as well because we should be able to get in here and steal a bunch of ice caps because these got very useful later on in the game uh, for doing upgrades and stuff and actually finding them is is pretty tough you don't really find that many around the garden so now that they've actually uh, respawned them all, hopefully, that means we should be able to get a whole bunch ready for doing uh, upgrading and stuff, which would be very, very fun. Uh, oh, they've limited my inventory again. What have we got? How many can we carry? We can only carry 11. I thought I'd actually uh, increase that because I would rather have all the uh, all the ice caps for doing the, uh, the various upgrading and what have you. Boosh! Good job, Max. Smash your way through. Boom, there we go, right, we got all of them, we'll slowly sneak our way out. Right, let's go uh, over towards Burgle and over towards the uh, the old base where I can probably put some armor on because <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit uh, perilous out here right now without any armor. I'm trying to even remember where to, where is my base, over this side. Gotta try and remember where I'm even going in this game anymore. Are my zip lines still around? Yes, they are, that's good. <laughs> Just 
the feeling of having to traverse a whole long way across the grass is uh, not quite the same as using a zip line from back in the day. Let's uh, have a look in here. I mean, are you working now? Right, these are now working. What was this thing? Oh, that is still unpowered. Uh, oh, that is also... Oh, they're also unpowered. Oh, I thought maybe just by sorting out the uh, the laser beams or what have you. Where is my house? Honestly, you step away from a game for two months that <laughs> you played non-stop for two years previously. And you come back after two months and you've completely lost how to get around. Right, here is my house. I was taking... A long time to find. We'll slurp up some of the old uh, dewdrops that are along the way. Right, we've got a whole bunch of uh, various purple smoke over there. That doesn't look great. Let's go and investigate what's going on now. Because my house is, of course, directly here. But uh, <laughs> we don't really want it to, like, catch on fire or some ridiculous stuff. But look at this. What is going on over here? That does not look good by any means. Right, let's uh, check on some armor and what have you. Because uh, we are a little bit vulnerable right now. Okay, we finally got some armor. Hello, Mr. Rayford, how are you doing? Right, let's go and investigate what, uh, whoa! <laughs> All this various purple fireballs are about. I don't even know what that noise was. I could hear some horrendous noise. Let's chuck on uh, some sort of weapon. Because I do not trust there to not be a wolf spider just lingering around here. Let's go down into the old burgle lab and see what's going on whoa okay we've got some uh some new effects down here we're looking awfully uh smoky uh there's also claiming there's some raw science somewhere is this door locked again wow they fully reset all this back to uh back to the way it used to be we'll open that up there's no uh no tasties anywhere coming to kill me so that's always a positive have they reset the notes doesn't necessarily look like it. Okay, well, I'm, I'm kind of glad they have them, to be fair. This this feels way more fun as, in terms of getting back into do a season two of this game is basically reset. Oh, we got a whole bunch of uh, of sap. A lot of sap. Sap's always good. Uh, we got some CCTV cameras. Oh, yeah, remember these not really doing anything, these, uh, these little cameras before. Now, they used to be... What's that? Biometric scanner to get in there. Interesting. Oh, there's Burgle. <laughs> Burgle, my old buddy. <laughs> what are you doing, man? We got you, buddy. Up you get. Come on. Yeah, don't worry, Burgle. I got you, buddy. We've been through it all together, Burgle. Yeah, true. You are a robot. That was pretty, uh, pretty easy to gauge. Right. Can I... Uh... Is Burgle meant to be saying more lines that we can't hear? Uh, when you're ready, we should talk, and perhaps I can assist you with getting out of this mess. I'll fill in those lines. Obviously, he's had a couple of the uh, the old voice drives have been damaged by uh, falling over. Right. Uh, I wonder what's up. Do did his voice lines used to work? I feel like these uh, always used to happen. Right. Well, I mean. What happened to me? Uh, best calculations is we got shrunk down by uh, Dr. Wendell Telly. Uh, who is Dr. Wendell Telly? Telly is a brilliant scientist and inventor. He's also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook for the future. Is that what he just said? <laughs> I'm skipping too fast to read through it. I have been ex recently promoted to acting science manager to assist with his experiments. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Telly, although... Now that I'm processing it, I've not seen him in several weeks. And uh, to be fair, something looks like it's blown up, Burgle. So to be fair, we're here in the Oak Lab, used by Dr. Wendell Telly, the base of operations. Uh, how do we get home? To return to your primary size, we need to successfully activate the SPAC-R platform, which, of course, was the thing that blew up. Um, can we fix it? That's a great idea. Let me run a full diagnostic scan and we'll see what we can get it to do to get it fixed up. Uh, memory fault, da, 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 runtime. I'm sorry, it appears I've sustained more damage to my memory chips than expected. Without those memories, I do not know how to repair the things. All right, and that's why we needed to go and collect the uh, the various memory chips from around the garden. Auxiliary chips are small capacity chips used to store project data. If you find these, I should be able to help you learn new survival recipes. Super chips are special. They are gold. They back up full directories of my memory system. Okay, if we're going to fix the SPAC car, that data is bound to be on a super chip. The rest is exploring the backyards to return any of the memory chips you find. Okay, other labs. Okay, so there's other labs basically in the in the base we sort of know about that. 
Uh, cheese and fries, the lab locations are missing from my memory banks too, but here we're in luck. Uh, retreat location of one of the facilities, the hedge lab. Okay, yes, of course, is where all the spiders are, the bit that I hated the most. Uh, we have to go and go to the spiders. Head over to the ASL terminal and place your hand on the biometric scanning near it. Give it a moment to sync your signature to the mainframe. Once you have registered, you will be granted access to ASL network of computers too. Survival simulation protocols, doctor asked me to run, are mostly intact. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of writing. I don't remember this much, like, various reading. Log on to the ASL terminal over there and see what is available. Unless you have any other questions, you really should start finding those chips and try not to die out there. Cheers, Burgle. Have an exponentially great day. Okay, well, wonderful. Cheers for that, Burgle. Right, we need to go and grab some more raw science. Do we actually keep all the raw science? Uh, yes, we do. I have 10,000 raw science. Wow, that's... Feels like a lot. It feels like I definitely shouldn't have 10,000 raw sites. I feel like they've probably taken a couple of upgrades away from me. Right. There's the old bio scanner. And uh, we've got to go and retrieve a super chip for Burgle. Purchase an upgrade in the science shop using the ASL terminal. Oh, wow. Okay, so we no longer use Burgle for, for anything. That's interesting. You have to now go over here and... Uh, Science shop, burgle quests. Oh, and the molar fusion. Right, so you do everything from here now. That's interesting. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> That's why I have 10,000 raw science, guys, because they've taken everything away from me. Unless this is just everything that I had left to buy. Um, I might just save a little bit of that just in case we unlock more in the future. Burgle quests. Um, we can make some aphid slippers. We've got to go find the grave robbery burgle chip. And kill some bees. Okay, we can do that. And then we've got the molars. Okay, thank goodness it saves all your uh, various molar things. Um, ah, that's why I couldn't carry any more uh, any more mints. I need the consumable size to be more. Okay, so we've got five normal molars. I remember the thirst and hunger rate was bad. I'm not going to upgrade them just until... They might have dialed down the hunger and thirst rate since the last time I played this. So I'm not going to rush uh, to start upgrading them until I know they're absolutely... Going to be necessary, but what a start to uh, to season two here, guys! Loving this, right? So we've got a new chip to go find. We can do the old uh, the old hand scanner here as well. That is a long scanner, right? There should be some more raw science down here. We'll take that. Have they also replaced the molars? There used to be a molar under there. Doesn't look like they've replaced the molars. Um, that would have been awesome. Imagine if they've replaced all the molars, you could just find loads of them. So, I'm going to have to go find more of those. Let's head back out of here. So, uh, we need to... It keeps telling me to peep a creature. Uh, and I don't know why that's still there, because I definitely did that to a couple of them as we were walking around at the start of the game. So there's a ladybird. Oh, you've got to, like... You have to press X on them now. You've actually got to, uh... Ladybird coming through. To like manually see them? Peeping new bugs in the yard unlocks a creature card revealing weaknesses and resistances. These can be found in your data tab inside your menu. That was one of the biggest things that I had as an issue in this game was that they basically never told you what any of the mutations that you did to weapons and stuff, what they were actually useful for. Right. Weaknesses, busting, and fresh. This is brilliant. Why was this not in the, the update previously? Ah! Okay. Hello, buddy. <laughs> Been a long time since we've done this one. Okay. 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 Come on. Yeah, that's right. You missed me, buddy. Oh, no. No, I won't die to you. The first wolf spider goes down. Will the poison kill me? Who knows? Uh, statuses. Take off anything. Put on... Mithridilism. Does that cure the poison? Yes. Okay, right. I still got to try and remember that. Right. Uh, oh, what's that? Have I got a... Rucksack or something there? I'm not sure what that was meant to be. Right. And we've killed a wolf spider. Oh, there's another one. Wow, they are not messing about. Wolf spiders galore. Out here in the... Uh, oh, in fact, I, I need to peep one of them now. There we go. I'm loving this. This is great. They've made... That's a brilliant change. And another thing, actually. I have not been seeing my 
thirst or hunger go down particularly rapidly, um, which is, again, one of the big complaints I had. They just made it so that you were constantly battling for food and water. But we've gone pretty much a whole day. I think if I had a single dew drop and I had two of those, uh, like, I don't know what they're called there, the granola bars. And that's been the food for the day and it's done better. So maybe the thirst and hunger rates kicked in. Maybe I was slightly behind on a, on a save or something. But it looks like, guys, there's... There's been some advancements here, and I am liking what I am seeing so far. Now, I have seen passively over the last couple of months while I've not been playing, they might have changed something about the building. So I'm going to have to be very careful when it comes around to uh, messing about with building equipment. So let's uh, let's have a cheeky sleep. Take ourselves back into the, uh, into the old daytime here. We'll chuck some more food on. And there we go. This means we can just pop some... Uh, Pop some of the old jerky, try and get a bit of the uh, the old food back, and we'll have a couple of the little water droplets as well. Okay, so in terms of the the, the biometric things as well, right, so we've still got, uh, I'm allowed to have three mutations still, which is fine. Um, I'm, not, I'm not really going to need that just for the second, I'll put the, uh, the meat shield back on for now. Um, so we've also got these over here, which seem to be uh, what we're getting, uh, blocking strength block more... Block more heavy armor. Heavy armor greatly increases the stamina required to swing weapons. Oh, okay, so because I've got the ladybug armor on, it does more uh, more stamina to actually use a weapon. Scarlet Embrace occasionally heal after blocking attacks. Great, awesome. Is that what they used to do? I feel like that's not what Scarlet Embrace used to do. Um, we've got hyper stamina, regain stamina faster, and none of the other things. So not sure how I gain these or what I do, or if that's just to do with the the mutations. Let's just check. That didn't seem to affect anything, so not sure about that one. Um, I've got something, some sort of uh, warning signal here, which says there's something else. Oh, there's the termite armor. Of course, we never got around to doing any of the termites, because in the last episode, everything went so wrong so quickly <laughs> that I wasn't actually able to uh, to do anything. Right, cool. So, let's, uh, let's head back around and we'll see. I don't know why that's there. I feel like I've I must have lost a backpack or something that's no longer in the actual game. Okay, that hurt. Okay, so I didn't have any uh, dandelions back in my base, and there don't seem to be any particularly close. Oh, there's one over there. Oh, I could go get it. I can't be bothered. <laughs> We're here to have fun. I can't be bothered going and chopping down dandelions. Right, let's get back up to my big tower. We'll head back over to the castle. Uh, I have no idea if anything has just changed generally in terms of, like, around the garden or landmarks or anything, anything added in new. I know they've changed a lot to do with the shed and I still really haven't explored that. That will be coming up in this season two of Grounded. We will be doing some of that. Nothing looks particularly different with the house and the hedge lab is over there. So we're gonna to need to go over to the hedge lab at some point in order to actually go back and complete the story again in, uh, in some ways. So let's head back over to the castle that is on top of the picnic table, as long as it's still standing. I've no idea. <laughs> Have they released anything? Have I got to go do the gas thing again? Oh, I may actually need to go and uh, mend that thing again. I feel like I can see gas spilling out of there. Right, interesting to note. Uh, I may need to go and do that one again. Right, let's go up here. Oh, I've got to do the rake again. Oh, wow, I've literally got to start the uh, the story all over again. Right, good to, uh, good to know. Hello, bees. Where is the beehive? Okay, there's no beehive. There's a jar. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Max, you better not stop running. Get over the bridge. Do not let them kill the bridge. Ow! Ow! Uh, okay, we're in trouble here, Max. Max, you need to run. Go, 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 go. Okay. <laughs> Death number one. Oh, and I'm over here as well. I haven't even respawned at where I thought I was going to be. Wonderful. Right, let's... Uh... <laughs> okay, so bees don't like me anymore. Uh, bees never used to be that fussed about me. Oh, I think it's literally going to be quicker to just run there from here, isn't it? Oh, God. Okay, well, we're already back into fighting thousands of mosquitoes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> This is ridiculous! Leave me alone! <laughs> yeah. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is... <laughs> oh, I'm now over here. Okay. This is interesting. I don't know why I'm uh, over here this time. Okay, so I've respawned this time just at a nearby lab. Maybe that's the... The general thing for when you don't have a, uh, a point to, uh, to spawn out. Right, we have a couple of you. Uh, I might leave that there. I mean, that's... That Mac and Bees won't go, uh, won't go off if I just leave it there. Uh, oh, so you can just access these now from pretty much anywhere. That's pretty cool. Um, anything to analyze? Can't imagine so. Okay, well, I'm going to need to go... Oh, in fact, I don't even know what's in my backpack over there. Because I died, it's left a backpack, but I didn't have anything on me to actually lose. So I'm not sure what's in the backpack for me to uh, risk going back and picking up. Hello, Mr. Ants. Ah, my castle. Remember this, guys? Remember seeing my castle back in the day? God, I've missed this thing. <laughs> this takes me back. Right, come on, let's get up to the, uh, the castle. We can chuck some of this stuff on the uh, on the old food rack over here. Right, let's see what they've done in terms of the... Uh, the weapon upgrading, because th this uh, was the latest thing uh, the last time I was in here. So, uh, that was a level 7, that was a level 4, that's a level. So, if I wanted to now upgrade this bad boy. Oh, I got onto the Quartzite Jewels, and I don't actually know how to make them. So, I've still got to find that out somewhere. Um, can you upgrade armor? Oh, you can upgrade armor. Grub Leather Plate. Okay. Is that the same for all of them? Ooh! I didn't know you could upgrade armor. Okay, that's fun. Um, we can upgrade... I don't really need to upgrade the hammer. The hammer feels a bit excessive. How do we make grub leather plates or whatever they're called? Uh, where do we find them? Is that what we saw in here right at the start of the video? So to make... Pupa, you need leather, pupa leather scraps, bug gloop, which we got last time, and berry leather plates. Okay. To make glub leather, grub leather plate. Wow, that's hard to say. We need two of those. We can make five of them just from, gr okay, hang on. So let's make, uh, oh, I need the little wheel things. Okay, hang on, right. Where is, where is any of that? We're learning, guys. We're learning new things about Grounded today. So I need to find, right, there we go. There's some grub stuff. I have to say, guys, I am already enjoying this way more than some of the other updates that came out for this game. Right, what have we got over here? Right, so we can make some of the l those. Okay, that sounds good. Let's just make a bunch of them. I can make plant fiber by bringing it planks. Wow, do people actually make plant fiber? That feels... I feel like you find plant fiber everywhere. Uh, right, mushroom slurries... Um, okay, cool. Can you actually just eat mushroom slurries? I have no idea. Let's just chuck something in there for now. Uh, these dudes, they are doing things here. Okay, yep. I remember these things. I needed to get, um, mint globs. There was just a bunch of shards. Okay, well, we got, let's, let's just take the five for now. And let's see if we can upgrade some of our, because if we can upgrade armor, then... No wonder I used to die so much in the old game, because you're meant to literally make your armor better, Mad Dragon. What are you doing? So, uh, let's go over here. I mean, to be fair, do I have any armor that's... Oh, I have a lot of uh, very broken armor. Look how much armor I have broken. Oh, yeah, I have that, uh, that Centurion armor as well. Which is better? The Ladybug is technically better. How do you even mend armor anymore in this game? I've got so much to get back to, to doing. How do you mend this? Okay, that does that, right? Let me just see. If I made... Oh, sorry, no, I've got to make the leather plates first. Wow, this is this is some full-on crafting on the go here. Right, leather plates. Uh, I can make two leather plates. If I mend this, does it actually... Oh, when, when I upgrade this, does it I can't even upgrade it, for God's sake. <laughs> ah, well, let's take these over then. Okay, so they should now all be done. That's fine, right? I'm going to just start making a bunch more of these things. Because realistically, I do not use that grub hide for a lot at all, in all honesty. So let's just... Let's make a, a bunch of them. Um, I've also got... 
Uh, I can take all you. I've brought with me all of the, the mint stuff so we can make a bunch more of the mint globs. There we go. Why not? Okay. I mean, I've got enough. That should hopefully be enough. If I need anything more, we can always come back. I also might kill a couple of those bees because that's now the new challenge I've got to do. One of the burgle challenges. Which I guess is, is changed now. Are they still called the Burgle Quests? I think they were still called Burgle Quests. Uh, right, so we got to make... I need more of this armor. So we've got plenty of rope and plenty of that. Let's just make a bunch of this grub leather because I assume you need this to basically upgrade anything. Okay. We've got a bunch of that together. Right, let me just upgrade the body to see if you actually mend things when you upgrade. Yes. Okay. So good to know. So it's cheaper to upgrade these things and it heals all your items. <laughs> now we're showing off the shortcuts that I used to be so well known for back in the day. Find ways to cheat the system. Right. What do we got? We need... Um, we got that. Do we have a broken helmet that I could uh, cheat by doing that with? Doesn't look like it. Okay, well we'll just do the we'll do the helmet as standard for now. Uh, we might as well do that one. There we go. Okay, so we'll put on these ones, and now we've got some mended ladybug armor <laughs> for free by uh, by upgrading some stuff. Um, I wonder if that works with like the these ones or will these ones take the the pupa stuff to upgrade? So now we've upgraded them once. Does it cost more to upgrade them again? So now it just costs six to upgrade them. So we can keep upgrading them, basically. And then it goes up to nine. So you can just keep making your armor more and more uh, impactful. Same goes for them. So yeah, if you want to mend your armor, rather than having to go and find the pieces, you just keep upgrading them. Upgrading them feels way, way cheaper than uh, trying to find, like, a bunch of uh, roly-polies to kill. Right, let's have you back in there. Well done, that one back in there. Right, what did it take to mend this morning star? Repair glue. Uh, okay, how do we make repair glue? I thought they got rid of the repair glue. Okay, so I do not have repair glue, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. I guess... I'm going to guess you have to go and find it from somewhere? Uh, what about, like, the, the hammer and stuff? Why do some weapons take repair glue and others take body parts? Oh, no, that takes repair glue. Repair glue. That doesn't. I wonder why some stuff does and some stuff doesn't. That feels very weird. I don't know whether that's maybe a bit of a glitch from moving over from the old save file. Could always be. I'm sure we'll get fi find out later on when it all goes horribly wrong. Okay, but for now, guys, we have managed to get back to our castle. I mean, I've got to feel like I've got to try and take out some of these bees. Did I actually have a look at the bees? Did I find out what their their strengths and weaknesses was? I did find some other ones. Mosquitoes, chopping, fresh, and slashing. Okay, stabbing and fresh. Uh, oh, oh, it even tells you how many you killed. That's quite fun. It actually gives you like a little kill tally. Slashing spicy, resistances, stabbing, and fresh. Okay, don't uh, don't go stabbing a spider, apparently. Even though in real life, <laughs> if I find a spider, I'm using almost anything to actually kill it. Right, let's go see what the bees dealio is. Uh, let's go see if we can find a bee somewhere. Right, what does it say about bees? Bees. A noble creature that surveys most of the yard looking for nectar. Its weaknesses are chopping, fresh, and slashing. Right. So. Oh, its weak points are the eyes that I just see then as well. Oh, you, so you have to actually attack specific things. They have really changed this game a lot from the, uh, the standard sort of survival element. It was that. Right, let's put on that thing. Because at least that's an actual slashing weapon. Does it say they're bad against spicy? It doesn't say anything. Oh, they're normally bad against fresh. Okay. I kind of want to go investigate what the honeypot's about. <laughs> and I feel like I'm going to die doing it. Okay, a bunch of feathers. We'll take a bunch of feathers. Right. Come on. 
Is this... I mean, can I even get into that? I feel like I need to climb up and over. Okay, here we go, buddy. Come on, Biddy. Let's just... Let's go, B. Oh, yeah, you weren't expecting that. The old triple check. Yeah, attack you from underneath the... <laughs> this is from the days of Minecraft. Hide underneath the... Uh, <laughs> don't let Endermen get to you. Boom, there we go. B1, down. Here we go. Let's take on B2 by surprise. Yeah, got a nice little double hit in there. Come on, B. Let's go. Don't hide in the sun, you Michael Bay 11 thing. Michael B. <laughs> terrible jokes. That's what you came here for, guys, wasn't it? Not the best game playing. Terrible dad jokes. Come on. Die. Come here. <laughs> oh, no. Don't do the pollen thing. Don't do the pollen thing. Oh, you suck. Come down here. Come down! <laughs> I really hope one day they do actually make the, uh, the the ability for you to fly in this game. Like either get on get on a bee or get on a dragonfly and actually do some like aerial combat. I think that'll be great fun. Okay, we killed two bees. I've taken a great amount of damage. Do I have any just health kits? Yes, I do. Let's pop one. Let's see how the uh, the health kits work now, because the health kits used to suck. And it looks like they still kind of suck. <laughs> it's one thing that, again, I, I do wish they would mend that, because I feel like they really don't do enough to actually sort of help the player a lot. Where are you going? Don't do it. Don't do it. They all back away from you as you're trying to hit them. Come here. Come fight me. You coward. Come on. No, don't do the pollen thing. <laughs> you cheating bee. Come here. Come fight me. Come fight me on the plate if you need to. I feel like that attack is way slower than it used to be. You can, like, watch it come at you now. Oh, come down. Boom, good shot. I guess this is where I probably should have gone and got my uh, my bow and arrow, but I don't really know where that is. Okay, let's see if I can do anything with this honey pot from here. I really don't think there's anything to do with that honey pot. I feel like I'm going to have to get up and round it. Okay, we only need one more. Okay, we... Oh, the actual scabby is uh, is something to do with the honey pot. I think it was actually looking full then. Oh, I got a good few uh, headshots in there. Right, that gave us 625 raw science. We're slowly building up that raw science, guys. All the little ants and stuff in here as well. Oh, I haven't actually um, done you. Okay, black worker ants. What are you? Uh, what are you weak to and positive to? I really wish this had come in a previous update. This was. This is a brilliant thing. Uh, stabbing, spicy, uh, resistance is to fresh, uh, weak points is the eye. So they are really bad against this, this black ant blade that I actually have already, it would seem. Oh, oh, well, unless you're an idiot and just attack three of them with, uh, apparently an underpowered weapon, right? Let's just run away. <laughs> okay, I forgot, yeah, the, the, the more sort of... Uh, later edition creatures always tended to be really strong and really sort of resist attacks. And we will set, uh, caution, you'll wake up in the dark. Oh, so you now only sleep for eight hours. Again, that's better. So you don't have to necessarily just sleep in the night time. Um, you can actually just sleep whenever. I kind of like that. Rather than having to specifically sit there and wait for like maybe 30 seconds for it to turn into night time. And now, if you wanted to play at night time, not that there's a lot of uh, times where you probably want to play at night time. But uh, times like this where... Oh, okay. Well, I mean, you suck. Go away, B. I don't want to fight you. 
Leave me alone. I just wanted to see if I could, if there's anything to do with this honeypot or if it's just generally there. Because they've got rid of the beehive and the beehive was very, very useful in this game. And a lot of people didn't really utilize the beehive correctly because they didn't have a big thing up here like I do. Um, but I was able to get nectar constantly from up here, which kept me alive a lot of the time. How would you even get on there? I can't see a scabby or anything on there, but that is where it was uh, at its most sort of full. Can I still get to my staircase? It still looks like it. So they haven't really moved anything in particular. Right guys, so I just upgraded the general uh, armor set here and as you can see by the fact we upgraded it we did mend all of the roly-poly armor. So in terms of the statuses, um, I don't really know what it changes. It's quite hard to gauge some of the differences. Um, you can you can sort of block more. They seem to have sort of generic things. I don't know why there doesn't seem to be an armor set anymore for the roly-poly armor. I feel like that's all the roly-poly armor on. I did notice just after I went to the bed and went to sleep in the ladybug armor, I did actually get a boost on uh, the very bottom one, um, which was the, the sort of like the ant creature with the leaf. Um, and it was saying that if you sleep in a comfy place, you get a hunger and thirst reduction, uh, which is really good. I'm so glad they've done stuff like that. Um, I was also recording, but my game capture crash, and I didn't realize that there is now the ability when you go down and you're crafting the um, the grub leather, and it goes for any of them. You might be able to see in the bottom middle here that we have that you can craft many of an item. So you can craft 25, you can craft just five, um, and they keep going up and up and up. So however many you can afford, you can just keep crafting more and more and more of them. And that is so useful to someone like me playing on controllers. So many of my complaints that used to come from some of the old updates were basically that they were designed for people who are playing PC to just flourish in this game. And if you played on a controller, it became so, so difficult. Everything was so time consuming. And being a console player, being able to have that sort of stuff is super useful. And I do remember people used to leave in the comments, used to say that I, I wasn't really utilizing a lot of the game's abilities enough, things like the, the smoothie station that we over here to make smoothies. And I wasn't really using a lot of that sort of stuff, which I absolutely take on board, you know, I, I really wasn't. But the main problem was when you're trying to fight like the brood mother, the worst thing ever when you're playing on console is having to go, right, well, I need to use a smoothie now. Stand still, load up the wheel, specifically select the smoothie, and then take a smoothie and heal. Meanwhile, on PC, you just, you're just just clicking keys. <laughs> and the guy is just doing things in-game for you at speed. It was so much more useful. So it looks like the developers have really tried to make it a bit more console-friendly with some of these updates. Some of the things are looking way better, but I'm loving the shortcut of just... Upgrading armor allows you to mend it fully. That's awesome. Love to keep that. Still got to find out how to get the armor glue. Um, don't know where to get that or the super glue, as it was called. Uh, I'm guessing that's going to be uh, explained to us at some point. Uh, but that's where we're going to wrap it up for today, guys. So we are beginning our season two. Even though season one went on for like... 18 months. Uh, I didn't know a season two was going to be coming, but it's so glad to say that it actually will be coming now. Um, it looks like we're going to have to go do all the old bases. We're going to have to go around all the old labs, uh, find all the burgle chips. We've got to find new golden burgle chips if we can find them somewhere. We've got to go mend that gas canister as well. We're going to have to do all the pond stuff again, fighting fish. And then, of course, we're also going to need to come back and do all this because we only got one video done last time where we went over to the, uh, the whole barbecue area. I died a bunch. It was too hard. It was just impossible. I remember this zip line was a bit of a nightmare. Um, I remember it being too steep. So at some point, I'm probably going to need to go and move that over there and maybe create a new zip line starting on this middle tier down so it's not going to be quite as intense. And then I can maybe have that top one to go over there and uh, maybe join back over towards those pillars just to try and connect the garden up a little bit more but yeah guys uh season two of grounded is here it is on the channel it is super duper fun i'm so glad to be in grounded if you guys are happy to hear that grounded is coming back to the channel and basically we get to start again but with a really nice boost which i'm really looking forward to make sure you guys do drop this video a like and make sure you are subscribed to the channel just to keep up to date when all of the latest grounded content comes out because now that they've made this game a little bit better a little bit easier it looks like so many of the updates are really good these little uh sort of cards to find out the weaknesses and what the the spicy and the salty and all that fun stuff 
everything that that does. Love all this. So many of the positives coming from this update. Really glad to see. And with that brings my joy back into the series. One of the longest running series on the channel. The highest viewed video on this channel is like over 40,000 views. It's a grounded video from the time uh, just after I was sort of making this castle and the beehive came in. I, you know, Grounded has been such a big part of this channel and I was really sad the way the game was going. It was becoming too hard to play. Um, it stopped being fun. It stopped being interesting. It was just getting more difficult for the sake of being difficult. It seems like they have made some big changes in this game to bring back the fun. And I'm going to really look forward to doing a few more of these videos. So make sure you guys are subscribed just so you know when those videos come out. And make sure you hit that little bell notification so you guys are the first ones to know when they come out on the channel. But I hope you've all enjoyed today, guys. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.